Hey guys, does your shot look like this? We've all been there before. Well, look no more. This guy right here can help you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today, we're going to be doing a great, great, great one. We're going to be doing a tip video, giving you guys the secrets, the best tips to how to shoot like a pro player, how to have perfect aim like a pro player. Going to be going in depth with some of these tips, so make sure to pay attention and watch the whole video. If you enjoy it, make sure to drop that like, guys, as always, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is recoil control. Now, this is something pro players have been mastering for years, adjusting to how their gun shoots and really adapting and mastering the weapon. A lot of people don't understand, like maybe like the VMP uh, in BO3, just every certain gun had a weird recoil pattern. We all had to master it at some point in the game and really get good with the gun. A lot of guns are, can be powerful, they can be really good, but sometimes they don't shoot the straightest. And as a pro player, like you do want to usually have the gun that kills the fastest, but still has some good accuracy. So that's why pro players really have good aim. So for the first thing we're going to be talking about, let's say is the MP5. I'm going to shoot against the wall here, and you're going to see it's going to recoil basically mainly up. It does go slightly side to side, side to side, side to side, blah, 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 blah. but it mainly goes up. So when I'm shooting at people, my main concern is holding the stick down. That way I can shoot pretty much straight. It's going to wiggle a little bit, but I don't really want to focus to make those like slight micro adjustments because they're so small. It's almost impossible to really control with a, with a controller. Maybe on a PS uh, on a PC, you can control it a little bit more for sure. And, that, and it obviously depends on whatever gun you're using, whatever your favorite gun is. If you like the Kilo, let's say, uh, the, or the M13, like they have certain special recoils to them. Like the M13 shoots a little bit to the side. So let's say I'm going to be using this Hulker real quick. See how it goes like right, more right than up, but it goes like upright. Basically, what you're going to do when you're using the Hulker, now you're, you're going to go low left. So instead of letting it recoil like this, obviously like upright, you're going to try to control low left and basically keeping it at the center. And it's a little bit difficult at first, but once you get used to really controlling the recoil, it will make a difference on shooting people, especially from far, obviously close up. As long as they're almost at your on your face, you know, you're going to be able to kill them pretty quickly and it's going to be hard to miss a shot. But medium to long range is really where you're going to struggle. And you just want to have, if you want to have that precise aiming, you really got to understand the recoil patterns and really control that thing. Once you get the recoil down packed and you really understand how your gun shoots, the next thing we're going to be talking about is centering. Now, centering has been a big thing in FPS in a very long time. All the pro players have good centering. You can see it when we're playing. You can see all the centering we're doing, how our good, like, why we're so good at snapping at people. A big reason is our centering. Now, centering does take more work. And, you know, during the map and during the game, you have to make sure your centering is on point 99% of the time. But basically, what centering is for the people who don't really know about it too much, when you're maneuvering around the map and you're just running around or you're holding a, a lane or you're holding something, you basically want to be centering your crosshairs on your screen, especially to where you think people are going to be. And when you have that centering, you're basically already adjusted to where people are going to be before they're even there or before you even push that area. And if someone comes there, you're ready to snap, you're ready to shoot, you're ready to aim in, and you're ready to kill them. A good example is this area. We can go over this area really quickly to show you what I mean. So as I'm running around here, I'm centering on the bottom L centering here and as soon as i come out you see this is how i center i come out see nothing here center 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 so i'm basically ready i'm anticipating someone being here if there's not okay i'm anticipating someone be here there is and all i gotta do is as soon as i turn around all i gotta do is aim in now because there's a guy there so you want to be doing that around the whole map you want to be centering everywhere obviously where you think someone's going to be no one's here center here no one's here center back here no one's here center down and now the, the 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 more advanced part is centering, you know, based off like your height advantage or if you're low, if the person's high. So if I'm coming through here, I'm centering, centering. Now I have to center high. Before I've even come up the stairs, I'm already centering, centering high. So I'm centering, 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 centering. Go back, centering, centering, centering. Go back down, centering. So like you're just always adjusting your centering. You just get, you're, you got to make sure you're centered. Make sure there's no one at the window. Jump out, center down jump up center in the middle center so as you're maneuvering around the map you're always centering so sometimes when we see a pro player snap on a guy or like kill somebody really fast or it just hit his every single bullet shot out of nowhere 
Uh, a lot of it has to do with centering. Now, I really recommend you guys practice centering. You don't even need to be shooting bots. Obviously, you could put some recruit bots and shoot them while you're centering around the map. But you can literally just run around the map and just like kind of get some muscle memory down to like kind of get used to centering, especially if you barely do it. And just go around the map and just center on stuff and just keep practicing that until it kind of becomes muscle memory. Next thing we're going to be talking about is using both sticks. Now, this is a topic not a lot of players or people have talked about in the past. Uh, this is a tip that it's a great one. First things first, uh, when I shoot at people, obviously, if, unless I'm standing still or there's a guy standing still, I usually use both sticks most of the damn time. So unless there's a guy standing literally still in a corner, then obviously I'm just going to snap on him. Or if I'm standing still and I can't really move, then I'm just going to shoot. If I'm ever in a gunfight, just a regular gunfight around the map, or if I'm ever just shooting someone, a lot of the times I use both of my sticks. Now, why do I use my left stick when my right stick is to aim? Well, first of all, there's something called strafing. So you can strafe in this game. Uh, strafing is not the best, but you can strafe your shots into the person. Strafing isn't that powerful in this game because its strafing speed is kind of slow, but that is part of the reason. So when you're strafing around and let's say you're just strafing and shooting someone at the same time, then your gun is sort of on them already. Now you just have to make micro adjustments to really hit those shots. You don't have to just be, let's say if I'm standing still, I have to do like, like follow the guy. No, because my body's following with him. So anytime I shoot someone, I'm literally using both of my sticks. I have my left stick being pushed forward, pushed left, pushed right. Like I said, the strafe speed isn't the fastest, but just having my guy sort of follow their guy or like just kind of adjust to their movement. And then all I have to do with my right stick now is just make micro adjustments. You see, like I'm strafing right here as I'm shooting him. Like this is, I do this all the time. I'm constantly using my left stick when I'm shooting people, when I'm, when I'm move, moving around the map constantly using that left stick just getting ready for some action see how i hit like a hard left strafe there so it's constantly and and when you use your strafe when you're using uh, something other than your right stick it makes it so much easier to follow people and it makes it easier for your guy to be you know more precise so the only time i never really use my left stick is if i'm on a head glitch already let's say i'm right here then i'll do this uh, I honestly might still use my stick depending on the head glitch. Like I might move out the head glitch a little bit or I'm, I might like challenge out a little weird, you know, let's say I'm like this. I'm constantly using my left stick, constantly using my left stick. And when you're using your left stick, like I said, you're sort of following their guy, right? So now all I have to do is make these micro adjustments with my right stick, which makes it a lot easier to shoot people from, especially from far away, like medium to long range. That's where it really shines. So this takes a little bit getting used to because obviously if you don't really use your left stick much, you're going to be like, well, this is kind of awkward or weird. But trust me when I say this, especially with strafing, it's really beneficial. Um, I can say this is more for subs than ARs, but even ARs, you should be using both sticks like a thousand percent. I think every pro player uses both sticks um just the only reason i say ar is because usually ars are more posted up than subs but even then you can still you know strafe a little bit so this is a reason why pro players are pretty much more precise with their shot um they don't really use all their right stick to pretty pretty much shoot somebody uh they use both sticks and it just makes it like i said you're just able to kind of follow their the guy and then make micro adjustments and kind of just use your right stick to pretty much lead for tip number four we're going to be talking about settings now settings do make a big difference in call of duty or just in really any fps in general obviously if you're playing a super high sensitivity uh there's a good chance your shot's going to be pretty crap and that's just facts and that's just the way the the, the ball rumbles and tumbles huh so you got to make sure your sense is, first of all, not that fast. I think that is one of the biggest things. And a funny little quick story about this is a lot of pro players play on like six sensitivity in most games. And five sensitivity is a little bit slow in this game. But a lot of pro players have switched to 5-5. Five five. This is not a jetpack game. You do not need to be dumb cracked. 5-5 five five allows you to hit even more pristine shots from longer ranges. And your centering is slightly better because when you have a slower sense, it actually helps what you're centering as well. So for dead zone, the default dead zone is 0 0.05. I've been trying 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03. I've been messing with it. I do like having looser sticks. So I'm messing with this. You should be playing 0 0.05. I do recommend to play on a lower dead zone if possible, if you don't have stick drift. So you can use 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04. Uh, 0 0.0 or 0 0.01, it's a little too much, but, you know, I'm testing stuff. Sensitivity. I play on 5.5. I used to play on 6.6 to start of the game. 
I would say play between 5-5 five, five to 6-6. Six, six. I think these are the two best sensitivities in this game. Even if you're an AR, you can pretty much run both, but 5-5 five, five or 6-6. Six, six. You can run 6-6.9. Six, six, this is a pretty common thing. Uh, some pro players like to use the sense. I'm not really a big fan of the 0.9s, 0.6s with the 5.5 five and the 7.7s. Seven like, this 6.6 six or 5.5, five, five, trust me, if you play on like 10.10, 10, lower it down to at least 6.6. Six, six. It is an adjustment when you first start playing the game. It's going to be like, damn, this feels so slow. It's all muscle memory. Trust me, when you start grinding, you play for a couple days, the sensitivity will adjust. It's going to feel normal to you, and your shot's going to be way better. Another big thing, aim response curve type. I do like to run dynamic. Now, there has been rumors that dynamic messes up your sensitivity. It messes up your aim assist, blah, blah, blah. Maybe part of it is true, but I have tried standard. Even now, even yesterday, I tried standard. I feel like I get less aim assist pull dynamic i feel like it's kind of broken in this game like it gives you that little extra aim assist sometimes that just allows you to snap on people pretty like easily so i'm a big fan of dynamic i don't think i'll ever switch i've been using it since the beta and i've loved it ever since linear is kind of crap standard just doesn't feel the same so i really recommend dynamic if not run standard do not run linear and aim assist standard as well so for the last tip and tip number five if you don't have the best shot and if you're watching this video i would assume you don't or you just wanted to perfect your shot either or i really recommend you guys start up a bot lobby but you can put the bots on recruit it's it's all about getting rep obviously if you play in a public match there's a good chance you'll get maybe in 30 40 50 engagements if playing versus bots where radar's on you can have a lot of reps shooting at people even if they're bots they're still characters you still get the same aim assist you would on a regular person now their movement might not be the best and obviously that's going to be something that you would have to work on after but right now what we're trying to practice is your shot your gun skill you're trying to get your shot really precise so i would really recommend you start up a lot of your bots put radar always on and just run around shoot 100 to 200 of them it takes you 10 to 20 minutes it's going to help you get your shot way better over time you got to do it pretty often and like for warm-ups, even I shoot 100 bots. And on top of helping your shot, you just gotta play the game more, man. People, there's no secret sauce to really be good or really having good aim, other than obviously the tips I gave you. But at the end of the day, it's about putting that work, applying those tips that I gave you to make your shot better. And then just putting the time, playing a lot, you know, really getting down, getting your muscle memory down, getting your shot down. A lot of people gotta understand that a lot of these gunfights are just routine gunfights that's what us pro players like to call them routine gunfights like when i come up here when i come here on hackney yard there's a guy up here not every time but that is a routine gunfight so i gotta get better at shooting this guy right here i gotta take better angles i just gotta have a better shot uh when i come here there's gonna be a guy top ac or a guy on the head glitch on this hill people like to sit mid map people like to sit on this these crates over here they sit right here so when you when you play the game more, when you shoot bots or whatever, but you just play the game more in general, you start getting used to shooting those head glitches. It's about centering as well, guys. This is why centering is so important, okay? If you know people like to sit here, right? Let's say people sit here on this hill and you're coming around the corner. Where where are you going to center to? If, if I literally walk like this, am I dead? Question, am I dead? This guy is going to kill me before I can even react like this. Maybe I get one bullet off if I'm lucky, but I'm a dead man. Dead, dead, dead man. Now, if I know, if I center like this, okay, there's no one here. And now I'm going to center here. And I snap on him and I kill him. Well, that's where that practice came in. That's where that time came in. That's where this muscle memory, knowing there could be a guy there, centering applied. No recoil, no recoil tip applied. You know, playing the game more applied. You know, all these tips that I told you guys you know this really helps you execute that kill so i challenge you to shoot 100 bots every day if you want to get your shot better put the radar on if you want to do more you could do more 100 bots honestly is not that much but it's better than nothing if you want to do 200 do 200 you want to do 300 do 300 i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i really hope you guys learned something new if you did make sure to like the video please like 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 smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and you would love this type of content you want to see more tips i hope you all have a wonderful day this has been the pro player secrets on how to have perfect aim and you know i gave you guys some insightful tips make sure to stay salty and i'll see y'all later <laughs>